Welcome back to Apex Alchemy. Today we have one of my brother's knives. We have a, a boost. It's a Benchmade boost. It is the federal government exclusive. And there you go. There's your number. So it's a 590SBK-1. He ordered it off of uh, the shop my exchange. That's I oh, made some markings on the board. Some professional markings. So we'll know exactly how long the knife is, like quicker. So if it makes it from the big line to the big line. It's 10 inches. Yeah, it's 10 inches. So uh, anyway. So it's, it's, it's a little over eight. It's about eight and a quarter inches. Um, <clears throat> turn that scale on for them. And I will, uh, I'll get this blade stock. While we're taking these measurements, Nick Edward behind the edge has got an excellent giveaway coming up. He was showing, he, you gotta watch, go over there and watch his video on what he's giving away. And uh, Satu Dave, I, I rarely ever do this, but I want to push you guys to go over there and watch Satu Dave's latest video. He's got one of my knives, and it, so it's .13. Um, blade stock, <clears throat> he's got the Chavez, and he's going to do some stuff to it. He's looking for um, some recommendations so you guys have some way in and you know and he, he can take his of course you know I, I told him I said man whatever whatever speaks to you is cool with me so uh, it's 4.3 ounces 4.3 ounces so it's eight and a half or eight and a quarter inches 4.3 ounces got a 0.13 blade stock um, I've never handled a boost period and uh, so look, this is kind of like a boxing and first impressions uh, and I've definitely never handled a federal exclusive, a federal government exclusive model Benchmade uh, at all either. I don't, I don't suppose. I don't know if if it's just a color scheme that's available to them, or if there's something different going on with the knife. We haven't done any research on that. I do know that it has this uh, this lock on the back. We can slide it forward, and it can't be disengaged. It, it locks up the access lock. Uh, one thing automatically. <clears throat> I love. Access locks when they're manual. I mean, you know, I really like love access locks anymore. Period. But like, I don't, I don't understand why it needs to be so stiff. Um, no, I mean, like, why, why does it need to be assisted? Oh, but I guess yeah. we kind of got into that. We, we kind of saw a little bit of this yesterday. Yeah. Uh, you know, like uh, Courtney flipped it out. <clears throat> and she's like, "Ooh, I could do this one," because she's not real great with thumb studs. Uh, so. Or she just doesn't have much practice with, with thumb studs. So, like, she's uh, used to... Flippers and button locks. and Yeah, and, and it kind of made her feel good when she popped this one out. Then when she went to close it, she realized it was assisted. But it helped her get a knife that she probably would have likely had a little bit of trouble with. Allowed me to get it open. Yeah. Easily. I know that makes that, that, that mismade look small, but really... That's a 560, and it's it's pretty close to the same size as a 560. I'm sorry, that's a 562. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, uh, personally, I prefer a Benchmade uh, or an Axis lock be be manual. I I pretty much prefer any kind of locking mechanism to be manual to be or any kind of lock to be, have a, a a manual opening. Uh, versus assisted, but I, I could see like the assisted opening too, like somebody with with decent amount of arthritis, yeah, something like that, where they can't get that good uh, maneuvering with their fingers anymore. Yeah, that assisted opening would would yeah. benefit there. Too. I mean, and like a trigger finger or something like yeah. that. You know, there's there's different things <clears throat> that can happen to people over the over the course of their life, and I, I can definitely see a use for it. So like, uh, don't take my personal preferences as a as a thing, next year if something's wrong with one of my fingers, I may may prefer assisted opening just as yeah. When the well. back lock on this thing is like took a knuckle out, <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> you leave my full max scale alone. <laughs> but the the all right, so we got we got this grivery type of uh, inserts and this Vera. Well, it was. Um, there was something that started with a V. Yeah, it's, it's the overmold. <clears throat> it's a Vera. 
And then there Something was something other dual durometer handles. And I don't know what that means. Uh, don't I either. tried doing some homework on that <clears throat> and I, I couldn't exactly figure out what the dual durometer meant. So you were getting your information from uh from the exchange and from the rig like uh tried getting it from Blade HQ or not Blade HQ but Benchmade. Uh, I couldn't really find what that was and what it meant. I'm I'm wondering if it's got something to do with this locking mechanism. Because I've, I've never I've, I've never uh, like heard Benchmade use that terminology. Not saying it's a first, right. but like it may may have something to do with that that uh, extra locking mechanism here. Uh, I just well, know it was saying handles. So oh okay. Uh, who knows then what that locking mechanism does? It just has a bar. It pushes that bar down behind that. So bar. you can't pull down. Though. Yeah, so you can't pull this back. So it's it's locked into place. So it just added security. Makes it a fixed blade, kind of. <clears throat> Kinda. It it'd be real easy to accidentally hit. Yeah. Um, and what sucks is I, I believe. Let Let's see. Let's see. All right. So. I haven't tried this yet. See if it'll open with it. Let's see if it'll open. Nope. So, so it's one of those if you accidentally push it up. Yeah. And if it, you go to you, open it. You push it up while it's riding around in your pocket and you go to open it when you need it. It might not be there. Right. And depending on how well trained you are with the knife, how used to the knife the you knife are, are. Uh, that, that might be a problem if you need your knife in a hurry, like real quick and in a hurry. Or defensive or, or whatever you know you've got to cut somebody out of a or cut um, yourself out of a <clears throat> car that's sinking in the water or who knows cut yeah one, belt, one like, little step one little extra step preventing that from when happening. your your mind's already racing i do like the fact that it come with that 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 deep carry pocket clip yeah uh that, that's that's one of my favorite pocket clips it's like very kind of uh universal too like if uh it, like it wouldn't have a problem fitting on this this emerson I was like, Emerson used to have knives made by Benchmade. And they're spaced the same? Yeah. Use the same space. And I, I, I believe uh, a lot of times when you're shopping for them, it always like says, like, Emerson, some Kershaw, some ZTs, Benchmade. You know, like they kind of use a, a standard three, uh, three hole system. But uh, I do like that pocket clip. I've, I've used, you know, I like that pocket clip. Um, <clears throat> anyway. I like the feel of the knife. It's very comfortable in hand. It's girthy. It like, is thick. It's thick. Let's see how thick it is. Let me zero this thing out. It is not zero. That may mean we need to... Point seven three. So almost three quarters of an inch thick. At that point, Let's see if that's right. That seems no oh, point seven zero. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it, it is a, it is a very thick knife. Let's re measure the blade stock. I'm, I think I zeroed it out, but let's, let's just see. Yeah. Yeah. Point one three. Okay. Well, all right, man. Um, I, I think it's a comfortable knife. You know, it's uh, it's got the assisted opening if that helps you. It's got an extra added layer of safety if that's something that that you that you like. Uh, you know, whether that be open or closed. Yeah, you know, like a, I could definitely say the benefits of locking a knife up if uh, you had small irresponsible children. Yeah. You know, like in your house and you like you emptying your pockets out. And, Lock it so they don't pick yeah. it up. And open it up. Yeah. Right. Um, overall, I do like the knife. Like I do, I like it feels really good. It's got the DLC coating or it feels like maybe a Cerakote, but either way, it's got some sort of quality coating on it. I don't feel, it doesn't feel like it's just painted, but it's kind of shiny for DLC. But, but I don't know. I, I, I should have looked that up. It's an S30V. Great still. By the way, the 940, I've been carrying that around uh, uh, to just to see, like, it's been cutting all my plastic and cardboard at work. I'm trying to see if I can get six weeks out of it. Uh, so it's been through three weeks now? Or is it just um, still I two? I think it's two. Two? Okay. Uh, well, regardless, it's still, it's still going strong. I uh, couldn't remember. 
Um, anything else you got to say about it? You want to you wanna say anything else about it? No, I mean, I, 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 I do like the assisted opening on a lot of these, especially the ones that are thicker in my hand because it's even harder for me to get around to the thumb stud on those. Yeah. But I, I just wish it wasn't so hard to close afterwards. I see. <laughs> I, I would have thought, like, with it being a, a military type, you know. Have like, a different color uh, box? Or? I would have thought it would have been a black class. Yeah. You know, but, I mean, it doesn't matter, you know, at the end of the day. But it's, it is a blue class, which is, uh, to me, is interesting with it being a federal government exclusive. So it's only available through channels that sell things uh, which require an account for active military police, stuff like that. Um and it's probably not just that. It could be fire departments and police departments and stuff like that as well, you know. But uh, it, it is a blue class knife. It, it, it feels a lot like the Grizzly Ridge, if you've ever handled one of those. I don't have I one anymore. That, yeah. I, but yeah, like it does, and it's exactly how it feels to me, like in, in hand. It's, I mean, uh, I, I believe the Grizzly Ridge was a little thinner and, uh, and a little wider. But it is very reminiscent to the Grizzly Ridge. I carried a Grizzly Ridge for a few oh, wow, months yeah. back in the day. <coughs> anyway, Did you lose that one? No. Or sell it? No, I sold it to <laughs> one of my coworkers. He was he saw it and fell in love with it. I sold it and bought something else. What you got? You looking at band aids? Mm-hmm. Sure, I mean, there we go. Are you wanting to show this on video? No. Oh, okay. I'm just getting one. <laughs> well, in that case. From the from the uh, DNK DNK band aid kit that Nick sent. Yeah. From behind the edge. Because yeah. I keep cutting myself. Hey, go over there and check, <laughs> out, check that video out. Um, oh, J Jamie Long was the winner of the Civivi. What was that thing called? Ele it was an elementum. It was a yeah. donut thing, okay? Yeah. Jamie, if you made it this far in the video, you're subscribed. Jamie's sending that knife back because they said that they. I'm, I'm using they because I don't know if it's a female or a male. Right. But um, sending the knife back, they said they were they weren't unhappy with it, but they they know we're putting together uh, packages for uh, giving away stuff for five thousand and fifteen hundred, and they were like, you know, they consider this, it as, much. yeah, they haven't carried it at all. Uh, they were like, consider this my contribution to the channel. You know, like, like I'm gonna I'm gonna donate the the knife that I won from you guys back to the channel. And you can do whatever you want to with it. You can give away uh, whenever. So I was thinking might be something to pair along with uh, the Emerson for the 500 giveaway. Yeah. Or whatever. Uh, so um, anyway, we'll have that in the mail shortly. What else we got? Do we got anything else to cover? Uh, the the ones that did the participated in the game that didn't win, y'all y'all should be getting packages from us soon. Those those went in the mail this week and okay okay and that, I guess that's about it. Well, good deal. Well, uh, in that who's our oh and Tom, thanks to thank you Tom. He is our oh, new, he's patron. A new patron. Okay yeah. okay. Well, thanks thank you to all the patrons. Mm -hmm. But uh but yeah well, I am I very much appreciate you Tom. Um, I suppose that's it for yeah. for this video. So uh, we'll uh. Any questions, concerns, comments? Got any more? Uh, got any experience with this knife or you, another boost? And you if know? you happen to know what the dual durometer is, yeah, I'd love to. Uh, sounds like some sort of barometric pressure. I know uh, gauge or something. And maybe maybe it's got something going on. We just don't know. Like we haven't pushed the right button. You know who, who knows? knows? But but anyway, we'll catch you guys on the flip side. So uh, uh, yeah, any kind of information, uh, drop it below. If you if you especially if you've got experience with a regular boost. You know, like I'd, I'd like to, I don't mind looking stuff up and I don't mind watching other videos, but I like to get the, the first impressions without doing a, a lot of that. Right. You know, like if we look, look some simple stuff up, but, uh, yeah, um, if, you know, I'll, I'll take firsthand information off of our viewers just as much as I would trust it off of Knife Center or Blade HQ. So you guys have a great rest of your afternoon. We will catch you on the flip side.